Howdy, y'all, and welcome to the Ears Podcast, produced by Terrier TV. I am uh, Frank. You didn't sound confident. I get confused about it sometimes. People call me so many different things, I lose track of who I am. It's like a, uh-huh. yeah, it's a complex problem. That's true. It's Alligator a complex Rob. issue. It's a complex issue. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the, the Ears Podcast, produced by Terrier TV and sponsored by Edna Wilson with Celebrate Remax Aerospace. Go to ednawilson.com dot com, dot com for all your home buying or selling needs. That's the first time I butchered that in quite a while. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, it, you you were doing very well. I was. Yeah, it was I used uh, the word were. Yeah, were. Yeah, were. So let me introduce our guest today. So when we get into talking about crazy things, he can at least throw tomatoes at us while we're doing it. So today on the podcast, we're joined by Pat Fisher from, from Pat Fisher Nissan. Howdy, Pat. How are you? Howdy. I'm doing good, Frank. How are you? Awesome, buddy. Thank you for being here and chatting with us. Thank really you. Really appreciate me. it. It's a pleasure. Anything exciting been going on this week, guys? What last week it was? Uh, it was. Uh, What's her name? Dayton, that one guy from the one football team. You did not just call Taylor Swift. What's her name? Yeah, he did. Know. He I said, what's her name? I couldn't, I couldn't. I saw we're going to fight after think, this. Yeah, I think that happened. <laughs> we're we're yeah. going to fight. I saw, I could see her face, but I couldn't think of what her name was. I'm, I'm just, I'm disappointed. I've heard a couple of her songs. Uh, what do you, I have heard every song that woman has ever written and we so can sit go. here and dissect them for hours if you'd like. So you're one of those Tayleries, what are they called? Well, it's a, a I'm, I'm making fun of it Swifty. on purpose. Yeah, yeah, I'm making fun of it on purpose. Yeah. I know that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making fun of it on purpose a little bit, but yes. Uh, so you're a, a oh. Swift, a Swifty. Yes. Really? Yeah. Since, since the beginning? No. No, I thought I was too cool in the beginning. I was, oh, yeah. You thought was, you were too cool or oh, she was yeah. too cool? No, I thought I was too cool. I only liked indie music. I only, yeah. Hmm. What sold I you? I was stupid. What um, sold you? I started to fall in love with her when she released 1989, but I couldn't admit, admit it then because I thought, oh, no, that's too poppy. Was that the year she was born or something? Yeah, that was the year she was born. <laughs> oh, okay. By I the would, time she released Folklore, oh, my God, that album, beautiful. So far over my head. I okay. don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I don't, I'm totally I don't follow lost. any of this. Yeah, either. I don't even know. I know she's dating a football player. It's the only thing I know. That was the only allegedly. Th- allegedly. Allegedly. Wow. Well, and she's having a very successful tour. Yes, she is. Very successful. Hmm. I didn't know she was on tour. Oh, you didn't? What? Well, I assume that most of the musicians are always on tour. I'm oh. dying. I, I am dying inside What's that? right now. I don't think it works. <laughs> <laughs> no, aren't, aren't they like always touring and like No. She's currently stuff? having one of the most successful tours a female artist has ever had ever she's what? playing she's playing stadiums all over sold out stadiums oh, so yeah. in, a, in a music in the musical world what makes it a success like the number of people the money made the the amount of shows what makes it successful yes. yeah all of that yes <laughs> all of that. Is it, is <laughs> that's, that? that's yeah. how they yeah. define it yes oh, okay and oh. the production uh, the, her show is the production it's is just a beautiful extravagant <laughs> she writes her own music she plays her own music she produces her own music Wow, she has collaborators, but she, I mean, she's phenomenal. So you think she's a lock for the Super Bowl halftime show this year? Because no. Of that? no, she turned no. it down. Oh. Didn't she do it once? She's far too busy. <laughs> she, she turned it down. She was offered it and she turned it down. Good Lord. Yep. That's a thing, I guess. <laughs> Good for her. Yeah, mm-hmm. more power to her. You didn't know we were going down this rabbit hole, did you? No, I didn't. Again, I know nothing. I know nothing about her other than she's dated a lot of guys and apparently made a lot of people angry. That's, but like a lot, no, a lot of people, not, a lot of people like, there, seriously, seriously love her. And I don't know anything about her, so I don't. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Well, I will tell you this. Last. Um, she must be pretty awesome for that many people to like her. Last spring, I guess it was during the spring. I I had uh, in my Terrier TV class. I had uh, a couple of girls who had tickets to her shows in Tampa. To one of her shows, she she saw her in Tampa. She saw her in Nashville. And where else did she? She saw her in three different places. It was amazing. Why would you go to three different places to oh. see the same person? Because, uh, because I mean, in, you, like in, within the same couple of months. Go. What you need to do is go online I'm confused, Pat. and and look at some videos of the show of the Eras tour. It, it's, it's a social experience. Oh, it's amazing. It's and amazing. every single city that she's gone to, that she's toured in, she's made huge donations to nonprofits well, that's awesome. there. That's awesome. And she doesn't publicize it, so she's not doing it, right. I don't think, for the recognition. Well, it's the other thing that I... The and, agencies are sharing that information. And I saw, which was incredible, because I used to... Her truck drivers. Mm-hmm. Her truck drivers. She's got, um, I don't know how many different trucks to move this whole show around. A lot. And about a couple of months ago, she paid all of her truck drivers... A hundred thousand dollar bonus. As a bonus, gave oh, them yeah. all. Yeah, 
paid them all and and uh, because the tour had been so successful and so and i thought that was cool you know being an old truck driver from way back in the day i thought that was pretty cool there's something to treating your employees right oh yeah yeah Yeah. so that that alone will bring people to you yeah without a doubt yeah many of her band members have been touring with her since she was 14 years old they've stayed with her the entire time that has to tell you something. Now I found a way to connect this conversation. Now it all <laughs> makes sense. Now it all makes sense to me. Okay. All right. You ready to jump into this? I, I can't do any more Taylor Swift. Yeah. Right now. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm so far above my head with things that I have to digress. <laughs> Ooh, uh, we're, we're like a cult. I'm going to suck you in. We just got right into that. <laughs> I'm just going to start sending videos here and there. Taylor Swift videos? Yes. Yep. Okay. You'll get an email to you. Yeah. I don't know. I get videos of worse things. <laughs> Uh, Usually it's go. me doing something silly, like uh, a possum biting my finger or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't get those videos, but except for in my head. So anyhow, um, <laughs> last week's problems, Pat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so Pat, awesome to have you here. Thank you so much for joining us. That Thank conversation you. went off the deep end, buddy. And I'm, uh, yeah, it, it was good in its own right. Yeah, so, I was in the back on that one. <laughs> in the caboose. Believe me, I was too. Yeah. Even though I was sitting here, I was somewhere I way away. Didn't know I needed to study. <laughs> it's hilariousness. Yeah. Um, so tell us a little bit about you. You're from here on the Space Coast? I am. Tell us, tell us all about it, buddy. Well, um, this is a return to my high school. So this is being shot at Titusville High School. I swam here, just pulled up next to the pool. And I uh, looked at the old records. I had one of those up there for a long time, but it's gone now. Yeah. Forever in the dust. What was the oh. record? It w- I was in a relay, so I wasn't good enough to be you know, fast enough on my own. <laughs> but uh, the other three guys carried me, and I swam in fast enough to get in that in the record, so it was cool. Okay, that was your jam here? That, Swimming was your jam? That was it, yeah. Okay. And one of my uh, buddies was here last week and saw his name up on the record board still today. No kidding. 40-year record. We were just talking about that. Wow. What is his record? Yeah, it's one of those events that you know swim and put it up on the wall. Wow. <laughs> 40 years <laughs> later. <laughs> That was a good save. That was yeah, a good yeah. one. That was like <laughs> hilariousness. Oh man! So you uh, you own and operate a business here in town. Tell, I do. tell us about it. So it's a uh, car dealership. I'm a Nissan dealer, but originally my dad started off as a Pontiac dealer, Pontiac Oldsmobile dealer. So if we rewind back to high school, I remember back in the day, billboards, you know, that they have beside the road and all that, they were actually painted. So he's like, he was asked get a billboard he's like i don't need a billboard and they said uh it's a good idea you should do it he's like all right i'll do a billboard but here's a picture of my son you got to paint this into the car and it was a trans am back in that day (laughs) smoking the bandit was the movie right so this is right across the street from hickory hills okay the neighborhood right off highway 50 so that (laughs) billboard right there with me painted inside of this car with my letterman's jacket on by the way wow yeah, yeah. so you know every date we had to swing by the billboard I mean, this nice is, and humble this is yeah. too big an opportunity you can't miss that kind of thing wow i don't know what happened to the car I just having to stop right here <laughs> oh you look at that oh wow that is hilarious yeah stop putting on the letterman's jacket before we pull up yeah so, <laughs> dear so. goodness gracious Okay, so tell tell me tell me about the evolution to where to where you are now from there. Okay, so <laughs> that's that's as a kid, high school, uh, went to uh, Florida State University, came back. Um, Dad sent me out to car dealer type schools and uh, did all that. Started with all the departments, parts department. I used to look up parts when they used to write the parts on uh, recipe cards. Yeah, going back pre computer type stuff. Uh, Work service department, parts department, all the departments answered phones so come through full circle uh got some experience outside the the dealership where i wasn't the son of the boss <laughs> do the uh, acronym there that's what they say that's important <laughs> and uh then uh came back and uh and and started to manage one department after another and ultimately when my dad wanted to retire he uh he thought i was a bad choice but he said you know what <laughs> go ahead and on a limb let you uh, let you go ahead and try to try to do this. So that's what I did. And that's twenty years ago, roughly. We talk I'm about say this. That turned oh, out yeah. to be a good choice, considering you have kept that company afloat through recessions, through pandemics, through oh. supply chain shortages. The Lord kept it afloat. I just <laughs> held on by the skin of my teeth. No, it's, it's uh, a lot of great people. You know, they're they're uh, they're the star of the show. So I always call myself support personnel, the lowly guy on the bottom. 
Yeah, speaking about that, that's a that's a great question. What you know over the years, what are some of the uh, the the challenges maybe you've overcome there at the uh, at the dealership? Was I'm sure COVID. I'm sure COVID <laughs> was a big one, right? That breath in. I'm sure COVID was a big one. Sure. Yeah. Sure. How did that did, How did that change things with uh, buying and selling cars? Well, it kind of changed everything. One of the big ones for buying cars specifically, we used to go buy cars at auctions that had thousands of cars. They'd have teams of people, literally hundreds of people to drive these cars through these auction lanes that you see on TV, that kind of thing. So we would go, I would get up 5 a.m. and go look at these cars beforehand. I like to personally touch them, smell the cars on the inside. I'm big into, people say that I have a specialized smeller. I, I have no <laughs> idea what that means. <laughs> I was literally said that to me yesterday. I was like, really? So uh, we, we'd go through this process of going and smelling the cars, touching the cars, all that. And I would, you know, buy cars and then come back. Sometimes I'd go over there and I would not like what I saw. So I would spend an entire day researching and start entire day going to buy the cars, loss of two days, et cetera, and not to buy a single car because they've got to reach a certain tolerance for, for it to work for me, including price. Now it's all done because of pandemic. They started to video, video the cars and the whole nine yards and have a third party inspect the car. And the third party does a pretty good job with it that what we found is we miss stuff too when we i'd buy cars when i looked at the car still bring it back and run it through our inspection and lo and behold i missed something right so we have about the same level of miss mistake or same level of quality that we had with this third party and we can send the cars back so that's a big change saves two days doing it i love the change it takes takes a while i mean i did like getting up and walking the cars and all that and yeah it was the thing so but this is it. That's a big change. Yeah, that's unique. So one of the many things I've learned uh, by being there at your shop and talking to your guys is the relationship you have with your employees. Uh, they think the world of you because of the this, this. Uh, I'm trying to think of the correct word to use, but they, they're they comfortable. They love coming to work. They love working for you because you make it an environment that people want to come and come and be at and come and work at for the, you know, for so much more than just the money, they're there because of the way they're treated and respected. So tell us a little about you and your employees and how you, what you do that's a little bit different there. For sure, for sure. Um, yeah, a matter of fact, you know, starting with the money, we tell them, hey, listen, you know, you can make money, probably more money somewhere else and, you know, bigger cities and all that kind of thing. But our philosophy as owner managers is to make a difference in people's lives. That's literally the mantra and we have it written down. And all of our processes, all of our policies have to agree with that. So some of the unusual things that we do, some of the standard things, after three years you get free health care at the dealership. Most car dealerships don't do that kind of thing. Um, we spend a lot of time together. So I'll close down a movie theater uh, for all the big movies of so Top Gun, Avatar. Uh, what's the one where the, the, the machine turns into different the car of the machine. Oh, the Transformers. Transformers. I was going to call it Terminator. <laughs> oh, yeah. as soon as you, I'm like, I don't know. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> Taylor Swift? What? Frank happened? knows no <laughs> pop culture references <laughs> at all. Right? Everybody gets a kick out of that. We do a fitness challenge uh, that will we'll all come together. I buy everybody an Apple Watch if they don't have one, and we just measure everybody's uh, whatever they want to do. I've got a trainer that comes in, but we measure diet if they want to do that, if we want to get special things. So over 60 days, we'll do, we'll do that. We'll come with an exercise. So some of the things to keep it going, we'll do planking with Pat. <laughs> so, so on the showroom, we'll all, be, we'll all be planking out there. And uh, <laughs> the day we did this, I discovered that, well, we didn't have half my shop at this thing. So I went back and I was like, where were you guys? And they didn't know. And I was like, Oh good God, I got to do this again. So we went back to the showroom, <laughs> had to plank a second time, which is terrible if you haven't been playing. Oh, yeah. So then, you know, a couple of weeks later, it's like, uh, there's not, we need to rejuvenate this again. So we did pull-ups with Pat, but this is the kind where you just hang on, right? You don't have to yeah, pull yeah. up. Well, I've got this big fat bar, right? So you really got to hold on to it. Well, one of my technicians, his hands are like, two feet long. He wraps his fingers around like twice. He's sitting there and wants to read the paper the whole nine yards. This is not like my hand. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the reason why I didn't win. I want to clarify that right now. <laughs> so, you know, unusual things we do besides stuff like that is all my managers are required to, ha to know everyone's names and all their spouses names. And then we kind of move on from there to, to kids names. It's mostly spouses. <laughs> and man man but this is, it's, 
easier said than done. So yeah, there's a lot of the little things we try to focus on. And I know, you know, Titusville High School here alone, you know, announcing the football games, we were just talking about this. Your name gets mentioned all the time. You're big in the local community. Uh, you're always you're always doing stuff to help everybody else. You know, just like with your employees, what you're talking about, you're always trying to better those around you. So tell us a little bit a little bit about that. So, um, I'm outspoken <laughs> in certain <laughs> in certain environments, certain scenarios, right? Uh, and I'm not always working to be politically correct. I just don't believe that's my calling, and I think we all should follow our calling, right? Right. So. I am a big supporter of law enforcement. Likewise, and, yep. And so like uh, Sheriff Office and Titusville Police Department, their officer of the year, uh, every year is recognized at their local event, right? Or at their, their event for all, for all their guys. This year I started bringing an AR-15, a special case, a special AR-15, not an average AR-15 for each of those guys. And I put their name on it. I have, their, I have laser etched each of the guns, and one for the SO one for TPD, and uh, that's something that we're gonna do every year from here on forward. My only mistake that I ever made with this is that I didn't do it from the beginning of my career. But the second kind of came to me, I uh, loved it, and that's what we do. I appreciate not everybody supports that, everybody thinks that. Um, that's not my concern. I do think like that, and our dealership is, follows my, my direction, so. That's good, that's, that's good. What I liked. So you said you've been, you know, you've been running this, this dealership now for 20 years. A little over, but a little yeah. over. Yeah. <laughs> what are some of the biggest things that what, what was some of the biggest learning curves over the course of the years that you kind of had to pick up? You know, the, some of the things something you wish you would have known 20 years ago when you started or, you know, however many years ago it was when you started. You're saying how many years? You know, it's you know, <laughs> <laughs> at a certain point, it's kind of like just, dog years. Yeah, that's right. When you started many years it's ago, been a while. Many years yeah, when ago. you started many years ago, what are some yeah. of the things, you a know, long, now long time ago. that you wish you would you would have known then? It's like a fog. Uh, <laughs> You know, what I've kind of discovered over time, just personally and in business, is that one of the best qualities to have is humility. And I think when we're younger, it's really difficult to come with that. So being, you know, competitive and, and A type in, in a lot of ways, um, those were difficult lessons to, to realize. And uh, th some of those, you know, humility doesn't come with necessarily great flavor. Right. Yeah. No, it, it usually doesn't. Yeah, you're right. It usually doesn't. And it's unexpected. Timing is always off. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that that would, you know, just that would be a personal uh, makes sense. Thing I wish I had makes sense. More of. So when we're looking at your logo, Pat, it has this uh, this one and a couple of commas and six zeros and a giant <laughs> explanation mark after it. And it says a million mile warranty. What is that, Pat? Tell me about the million mile warranty. Can, can I just revert back to the, the humility thing? Yeah. So I wa I'm walking the Camino, which is 500 mile walk across Spain, right? Okay. And Holy I'm, moly. I'm walking with, a, so it takes like 35 days, walk for forever. I'm walking a, with a priest and 13 other kids and the priest became a real close friend of mine. And I told him, I said, listen, I said, I'm praying for strength of humility to do this walk. And uh, so he says, you know, that's a really good thing to do. And I said, but understand now, I plan on being number one at it. Oh, no. <laughs> so every time afterwards, I always just give the number one. <laughs> I'm sorry. I digress. <laughs> no, uh, well played. Well, well, well played on that one. I liked it. All right. So the, the <laughs> one out of Frank's book. <laughs> That's right. The million mile warranty is actually a pretty cool thing. It's a, a warranty that goes with every car that's bought new, uh, covers the engine all the way through a million miles. Um, so if said owner buys the car, you buy the car and whatever, 15 years from now, your engine blows up, you get a new engine put in the car. Okay. Now, an interesting side note to this is we're gonna pay for the engine for that car. Now, that engine, engines today could be $5,000, $8,000, $10,000. They can be very expensive, right? You're gonna have a choice at that point that's gonna be an interesting choice. You can have <laughs> that car with 500,000 miles and we'll put a new engine in it or we're going to give you the $8,000 for the engine to buy another car and you can play it again, Sam. So that's, that's how that would work. Okay. That's pretty unheard of. I don't know of anywhere else that does that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's really cool. Um, yeah. Yeah. So we, we, I badged it as million mile. It actually is a lifetime warranty that I badged as a million mile. It looks 
it looks pretty cool all those zeros <laughs> I like yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it jumps at you. You go, a million miles? A million miles? A million miles. <laughs> One million miles. <laughs> oh, Lord, cracks me up. All right, you guys want to jump into some trivia for a second? <gasps> yes. Okay, so I was looking at Nissan trivia earlier, and my mind has been blown so many times today. I'm going to uh, set this one out. <laughs> no, no, no. Some of these things, you, some of these yeah, things you'll yeah, right. probably know because I, I didn't know. I mean, some of them are things that, only someone that, you know, was an auto mechanic or worked in the Nissan world would probably know. Uh, other things are, they're, they're, it's, you know, it's interesting. Okay. okay. So, you have help, Pat. I'll sit, oh, yeah. I'll sit, this, okay. one, I'll sit this one out. <laughs> Do Lots you? I'll sit this one out. I'll oh, sit this no. one out. Yeah. Th- these, are, these are actual questions of trivia for me? Oh, yeah. For, for everybody. Yeah. Oh, everybody. Yeah. I get very competitive, just FYI. <laughs> That's outstanding. No, okay. Yeah. Thank you. So, what year was Nissan Motor Company founded? It's so long ago. There's 1904. I can't do it because you told me in the car. I did tell you. <laughs> you already I told did, me. I yeah. did tell you the answer to this. Dag he nabbit. told me I the did. answer. I could look really you smart. 1934? <laughs> wow. He's One close. year off, He's 1933. Right uh, wow. Wow, Pat. Spot flipping <laughs> on. Yeah, buddy. That's Very awesome. Good. I am not off to a good start. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was really good. Yep. Which 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 French automaker? That is a tongue twister if I've ever heard one in my life. Which French automaker has a, has a strategic alliance with Nissan? Was it Renault for five points, Frank? It is. Yes, it's, it is Renault. It is. And you know how I know that is because I rented. Because Frank told you in the car. No, no, he didn't tell me that one. I rented a Nissan uh, Versa uh, when I was out in Texas. And I popped the hood because I wanted to see the engine. And it had a Renault engine in it. Huh. And it was pretty good. Yeah, I thought, okay, I didn't wow. know that was a thing. How long is that? I didn't know that was a company. Uh, oh, you, no, it's a <laughs> no, they're very, French, very, French auto. Yeah, you very didn't? famous, very famous oh, French okay. company. It's probably been 10 years. Feels Has like it? 10 years, something okay. like that. Wow, very cool. I've gone to add in time, you know, because <laughs> if, yeah. re- if it feels like seven, it's really 10. Yeah. Just add a little. Add a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah the gray in my beard's been saying the same thing. Um, <laughs> it tells me that all the time. Like, how old are you, Frank? Add five or six years because you have a gray beard. Uh, Nissan sold cars in the USA under which which brand name before they used the name the name Nissan yeah don't you, you know do you know this one sh- you should, Come know, on, this you should one. know this one. I'll be proud for her to answer this oh. you should know this one well now I feel like what I was gonna say is no. not it no go no, ahead say it say it no say it <laughs> say it Cindy no I don't know no you don't know okay it's you sure <laughs> you you do know you do know you're right on it go ahead say it no clearly there's something I'm missing <laughs> No. Okay. So Didn't they used up. to be? Co- yes. No. Nope. You you know it. Just say it. You do know it. I don't think I do, and you're going to be disappointed. It's so not. It's, it's not a, a dog. It, Didn't they go by Nismo? That's a racing version. Yeah, it's yeah. a racing <laughs> version. Yeah. So that's not the that answer. Is, it's that's not the close. one we're looking for. <laughs> but so you are on the right track. <laughs> so what? They, Nissan was something before they were Nissan, yeah. and I would know it. Why would I know yes. it? You still. Uh, you still actually see quite. Not quite a few, but you still see one on the road every now and then because they yeah. last forever. Yeah. yeah, just like Nissan's, they yeah. last forever. It was Datsun. The Datsun. Yeah. The Datsun. I, I yeah. did almost say yeah. that too. The Datsun, because I had a 1967 Datsun 1600. What a great car! Oh, yeah. oh what a great car! I had a deer with that, and it <laughs> and it put a little a little rumple in the fender. That was oh. it. Oh. I took a hammer and pounded it That's out, and it was fine. Yeah. By the and way, they weren't known for I that. hit a deer with oh, it. Oh, it was like a yeah. tank of a car. That's, that it was, was on their ad, actually. New benefit. Yeah. It, was, it was amazing. It was just yeah. a, such a cool little sports car. Neat. Oh, man. That was comical. All right. <laughs> I, hit a, I hit a deer with it. Um, it did. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> which Nissan car model name translates to Sunny in English? I don't know what translates what from. Uh, it's, there's a model called the Sunny. Is it really a model called the Sunny? Pretty sure. I said that this Nissan car model name translates to Sunny in English. It's actually something else. Okay. Is it the it's a very common Nissan car. The Sentra? It is the Sentra. The is Sentra? That Sentra? Is that Spanish? I don't know what that is. Sentra? I don't know what, well, I don't know what langu- language that is. Centras. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. If somebody knows that, you can leave a comment on the video. Or, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, let us know. Um, in which country did Nissan originate? That's a pretty straightforward one. Go ahead. The United States. 
No. no. I don't know. Why would I'm I know sorry. this? I'm sorry. It's <laughs> Japan. The United States. The Japan. Japan. Uh, why okay. would I know this? So this is, this is one that I thought was very interesting. <laughs> the Nissan Kwashkai is named after a nomadic tribe living in which region? Q A S H Q A I. You ever heard of that before? I have. Have you really? What, what, what's it look like? What is it? You know, I don't. I'm gonna say I've <laughs> never, I've never heard of that one before in my life. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, I believe it's an SUV, but uh, yeah, I, I'm guessing for you. Oh, it does say something about an SUV in uh, the Middle East. Yeah. Okay. A nomadic tribe in which region? Which region of what? which region of the world? Yeah. So, which basically which country? But it's a the, nomadic tribe. The southern. Part. I will tell you. Right. It's, I'll yeah, tell you. I know. It's, I'll like tell you. It's region. The, <laughs> I'll tell you. It's the Middle East. So it's a country in the Middle East. Um. Saudi Arabia. It's a fair guess. A neighbor to Saudi Arabia. Guitar. Uh, Iran. Iran. Yeah. There you go. Okay. I had no idea. I had nope. no idea. And uh, yeah, which, this last one, which compact crossover SUV model from Nissan was inspired by the design of a sports bike? A crossover that was inspired by the design of a sports bike. So says the question. I have okay. no idea. Pathfinder? It says the juke. juke. Oh, the juke. Yes. I don't think I've ever seen a juke. It's oh. a, the precursor to the kicks. And yeah, the it, was, oh, um, yeah. it was a non-symmetrical <laughs> vehicle. Oh, it wasn't a cube. No, it was kind of oh, like a cube, but is it that had the one that has the like had the curved window around like the back of it, and it was only on one side. It was yeah. on the other side. Oh, I do know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That al- that always struck me as an odd design. It was it was cute. I don't think it ever caught on though very much, did it? You know, it was a niche car. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It, it you could customize some parts on the outside, different colors. Real popular with with. Uh, a few folks it had some <laughs> a few folks <laughs> real <laughs> popular with that's, a few folks that's, 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 a, that's <laughs> a very it felt better than it <laughs> came out <laughs> yeah so oh. the uh, you know the, a lot of technologies will trickle down you know the, especially the high performance expensive ones it, sure odd to have landed on the juke but the <laughs> gtr uh uh suspension or the drive train all-wheel drive drive cha- train will on turns, slow down the, the inside two wheels and right. the outside will go faster, giving more traction. That made its way to the Juke. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That, that I always thought it was unique because, you know, just the way it was. It, and, and unique cars, I, I, they appeal to me. I like them. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I had five children, so there was no way I was getting <laughs> one of those. <laughs> right, for sure. So I know what coming up here on October 28th, uh, from one to three, you guys have a trunk or treat event at the, at the dealership. We do. Yeah, you guys have been doing that for quite a few years. We've been doing it. This will be our second year. Okay. All right. <laughs> I th- I, for some <laughs> reason, I thought you guys have been doing it for quite a few years. <laughs> well, seeing as I can't tell the difference between a couple of years and ten years, it, right. makes the, it makes all my 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 uh, numbers are off tonight. It is what it is. I've, Once quite a few, you I have the same thing. <laughs> it is what it yeah. is. My numbers are so far off tonight. It's a big two. Yeah, yeah. a big a big two. Okay. Yeah. Awesome event. Another another way you guys are uh, engaging the community. For sure. Yeah. Yep. I'll be there with a with an alligator at that one. I'll, I'm gonna bring an alligator and some critters at that one. Oh, that's new. I yeah. love that. Yeah. So we'll yeah. we'll be set up with some critters at that one, uh, making sure the cr- the kids get to see uh, something not necessarily creepy, but something pretty cool. You know there you mean? go. So, yeah, yeah. That'll be, yeah. be pretty epic. But Pat, thank you so much for being on here with us today. Oh, thanks chat for having us. me. Anything else you want to chat about before we go? It's you think, been, think we covered it? It's, it's been a <laughs> pleasure to be here. It's really fun. Brother, thank you a bunch. Really, you're welcome on any time. Thanks. Pre- appreciate a bunch. Thank you for having me. Guys, anything else crazy going on this weekend? Not for me. It's homecoming. Uh, it is homecoming, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. I didn't know that. I, so I still say is, I didn't know that. Um, anybody in your household going? She's going, but she's going with friends. Oh, okay. Yeah, Good. I've seen her Good. two times now at home games, her daughter. And I'll be like, hey, and she'll just like walk by me. Well, that's how you know your family. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, I see her in here. Like, we'll hang out. Yeah. We'll chat about all yeah. kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. She's me out there like just, yeah. it's the bearded guy. Move. Keep moving. I understand. Yeah. All yeah. right. I respect that. It is yeah. what it is. It is what her it is. dance team voted me as the favorite mom, and I think it killed her inside a little bit. Oh yeah! <laughs> they wow. all kept telling her, "Yeah, your mom's the cool your one. Mom's she's cool. nice. She's so nice. She's no that. Yeah. yeah. And I saw her going. Ugh. Well, it's <laughs> like when teachers tell you that your daughter's quiet, and you're like, "Are we talking about the same child?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good lord! All right, you guys ready to end this? Sure. Let's end it. Thank you all for tuning in today. I uh, want to th- say thank you to uh, actually mention our event in Cocoa Village on 
January 19th. Uh, it'll be an all-day event from 9 in the morning to 11 at night. We have uh, speakers inside, everybody from the Brevard Zoo, Florida Wildlife Hospital, uh, One Lagoon, you name the group, they're there talking. We'll have live music outside from 5 to 11. Uh, I want to give a quick shake, uh, quick shank you. <laughs> that is not what I'm, yeah. Yeah, not a quick shakedown. Uh, a quick mention of thank you to Pat Fisher Nissan, Brevard Zoo, Kelsey's Pizza, uh, Vieira Pedi- Pediatric Dentistry. Um, there's so many, Space Coast Executive Air- Airport. So many people that have helped this whole thing come together, and we wouldn't be able to do without you. Appreciate you all, and uh, we'll catch you all next week. Bye-bye.